Welcome to the workshop. We are going to do the conversion of uh, this beautiful uh, FMS Sukhoi 30 into a turbine, right? This is a dual 70 mm EDF electrical flight. I mean, he has a battery, huge battery here, 5.5, 5.2, thousand milliamp hour. But now we are going to install here uh, a K45 uh, turbine. Uh, okay, all the, um, why I'm doing this one? Because this plane, uh, both e ESCs died in flight. So uh, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to order the new ESCs and everything. But then I say, why not complete my, uh, let's say, my deed and do the uh, conversion to turbine so now the thing is the uh, decision uh, what tank to use i have this one two tanks 500 mm each or one 700 mm tank right um usually two tanks will give more uh, time. This uh, turbine consumes 150 grams per minute of fuel. 150 grams are, uh, are about uh, uh, 180 milliliters, right? So 180, if I have one liter, probably will be able to fly uh, four minutes. So it's more or less what I can fly with electric, right? So, um, if I add this one as a third tank, I will have a 1.7. So, it's going, I'm going to be able to fly around 10 minutes, 8. Let's say with a margin of uh, a landing time, I would say 7 minutes. And 7 minutes is, is a good time. Mm? Uh, the only thing uh, I miss uh, when flying electric uh, jets is that uh, the flight time is quite reduced, right? No more than three minutes, three and a half, four in the best case, but not for this kind of beast. This one, uh, twin uh, EDF, usually three minutes is tops. Hmm. Okay, um, let's move on on what uh, I'm planning to do. I will have to open this one. Remember that the, the CG is here, right? At this spot. So the tanks needs to be uh, aligned with the CG. So in case the tanks are full or empty, the CG of the plane is not going to be affected. Mm? Although if you lie, if you see uh, the tanks, of course when when the plane is accelerating, the fluid will go this way, right? When the plane is going up, the fluid will go here. So the CG will change, but uh, not that uh, radically. That if I put in a different place. Ideally, the tank should be here, but uh, I, I won't be able to control the CG. So the tank needs to be on the CG spot. Mm. So by, by that, I will have to cut this part, open this one, remove some uh, wiring here, reroute the wiring, and uh, put the tank. The tank is not going to be completely hidden, so most probably it's going to be up to half of the tank only and the rest I'm planning to build a, a cover here right so uh, at least we'll, it will keep the aerodynamic of the plane and for these ones uh, unfortunately we'll have to cut I will have to cut this one I was planning to design a slim tank that goes from here up to here but uh, I heard that uh, 3D printing uh, tanks are not really successful. But anyway, that's another thing I could do, right? But for, for now, I think uh, I will have to cut more or less this section. Mm. Uh, install the tank and see how can I uh, reinstall all this part because, you know, the, the, the wall is thick and the tank is also thick right so uh, i need to find out a good way to install this one okay this is uh, for now uh, i will continue with the cutting and you will be uh, witnessing the cutting and so on uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully we are going to start 
2022 with uh, with my first jet flying. Thank you.